Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia and welcome back to the channel, my girl, for another vlog. So guys, this is me introducing this vlog because we're about to rewind because I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I have been under the weather, y'all, for the past two weeks. I did not have the Rona. I don't know what it is and y'all, she took me under. That girl, she won. She defeated me, baby. I couldn't do nothing but stay in the bed and oh my god i felt like i was dying like right now talking to y'all i need to kind of like limit what i'm saying because i have to record a video and i need all of the voice that i have left because throughout the day like i start off with a little bit of voice and then about six o'clock it's three o'clock i got three more hours y'all my voice is done gone for until the next day i can't talk anything so i don't know what's going on I need to go to the doctor. My sister have it. Um, if you watched my last vlog, y'all know I went to like a party for my nephew, my uncle, my cousin. That was on a Sunday. So I saw my family Saturday and Sunday and by Monday I was sick. I be told my sister, I don't want to hug your kids. I, I'm going to talk to your kids through my window. I'm going to roll that window up. I, get your bang off the window. Uh-uh. How was school? Oh, it was good, Gigi. I, 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 you're too close to the window. Back up a little. I'm going to talk to them kids through the window because I ain't got time to be sick. Mm -mm. FaceTime me, baby. I don't, I don't need to see y'all. It's time just to get back wearing masks, and I'm going to need you to give me six feet because me being sick in this house by my damn self is horrible. I have to do everything, okay? Horrible. I'm not playing with these people no more, and I, that's on period. Family or not, okay? Nieces, nephews, babies, infants, I don't give a hot diggity dog damn. Y'all not getting me sick no more. I'm not playing these games with these people because y'all, two weeks of being sick, I was losing my mind in this house. Like, I couldn't leave the house. I physically could not leave the house. Okay, y'all gonna see. We about to rewind to me being sick, y'all. It was just a mess, and each day, it got worse, okay? No matter what I was taking, girl, it was just a mess. And today, I didn't start feeling better t t until yesterday. And yesterday was like day 13 of me being sick. So today, I'm not pushing it. I'm recording. And I'm about to, while I have a little more energy, I'm about to leave out the house to go make groceries because for the past two weeks, I couldn't make groceries. I haven't even had an appetite. I'm over here thinking, oh, girl, at least with no appetite, you're going to lose a good five pounds. Hell to the no, she did not. But I'm just coming to say, hey girl, hey, why I have a little voice to talk to y'all. And I have no idea what this vlog is going to entail. I know in this vlog I need to do kind of like a reset because I've been out of commission for the past two weeks. And, oh girl. Y'all, I am so sick. This is not how my weekend was supposed to go. I'm actually supposed to be, I was supposed to be in New York right now. I had to cancel that trip. So, oh my God, I was supposed to go see Lizzo yesterday and I am stuck in bed eating chicken noodle soup, drinking ginger ale and green tea and oh, I have a heating pad wrapped around my neck because my throat, she is literally on fire from coughing. Oh my God. Like my immune system is so trash and now... I'm stuck in the house. Thank God. Yesterday I had like a little energy, so I got up to cook. I just cannot even look at myself right now. I got up to cook. <laughs> Something just came through my head when I just looked at myself. I look like my mama Payne from Martin. Um, I got up, I cooked chicken noodle soup yesterday because I know I wouldn't get tired of eating that. And that's something that's super quick. I can walk to the kitchen and like warm that up. But why do black people think ginger ale cures everything? It does not. But guess what? As soon as I got sick, the first thing I went to the store was orange juice and ginger ale. Like, girl. And this ginger ale is disgusting. I've never um, heard of this brand. I don't know if this is like a generic knockoff brand. But she's nasty. If it's not, what is it, Canada Dry, I'm never buying it, um, ginger ale again. This is trash in a can. No pun intended. I'm in the kitchen, y'all, because right now I am boiling some water i just took my medicine i'm taking medicine every four hours i'm taking advil flu and cold cold and flu and i'm on google girl how do you get rid of congestion they say put warm water in a bowl y'all remember in the last vlog i told y'all i wanted a new kettle 
I found it at Target. I'm gonna put just a little, you know, or a lot. And with peppermint oil, you do not need a lot at all. So I just need to get like the smallest droplet. That's it. And you put a towel over your head. Y'all, I know I look so crazy. And you put your head in the bowl. Oh my God. You definitely feel like an instant relief. I think it's because the peppermint oil, like right now, I feel like I've been eating peppermints. <laughs> Morning, girlfriends. Last time I talked to y'all, I was down bad, okay? I was sick, and that was about two weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm feeling way better now. I feel like right now I'm, I would say I'm about 98% because I still have like a little congestion, but it's not, you know, nothing too crazy so um what time this is 9 22 i have to get, go to the nail shop for 11 but this the trajectory of this whole vlog y'all it's honestly it, it it's changed um i've been in the house y'all honestly for two weeks and i am in a rut i've been sick so i haven't been really outside i just been stuck in the house for two weeks and me personally i cannot be in a house that long every day day in and day out it will literally affect my mental health, my mood, my energy, everything. Usually when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, cause I would say I'm in a rut. When I'm feeling this way, I don't like to pick up the camera and vlog, but I was like, you know what? This is, this is real life. Like this is real life. I'm not happy every day. And I always tell y'all how on like a personal development journey is always up and down. Right now y'all, I am in a rut. And being in the house for two weeks, girl, it was just driving me crazy even i will go to the balcony and I, I i mean i could have left i did not have covid but physically i just did not have it in me and i'm now feeling the effect of me being in the house for two weeks and i don't have motivation to do anything i'm not gonna say i'm depressed but i'm definitely in a rut so this week i really need a wellness week to kind of like reset me um just kind of like get a jump start on resetting me this week i definitely want to take a step back on like watching tv and stuff because i find found the past two weeks i've just been binge watching stuff like crazy so this week i kind of want to pull back i want to possibly go to barnes and noble look for some new books and all of these things okay so you guys are not going to see the full week but today is going to be a spend the day with me kind of like a reset i haven't been to trader joe's to get flowers thank god i have these little baby breaths and they look decent for the moment but you guys will be spending the day with me resetting right now i'm about to just make some green juice before we leave the house and i think i have to get green juice hold on let's see yeah i need to stop to sam's to pick up some more y'all this right here ever since i started to add the pineapple juice to it i remember it would take me like a while to drink this um juice because it's it's okay it's a good green juice to have at the house if you are drink a green juice girl versus like constantly going out and paying for green juices i would highly recommend this one and this is the one that i buy let's see if we can focus her this is the one that i buy so i would recommend it but since i started adding pineapple juice to it girl i have to buy like two of these because during the week i'm killing them okay Y'all, and thank God that today is pretty because I don't know about y'all, but I'm also the type of person when my energy is low, I need sunlight. Like I need to see the sun. My energy definitely, my mood, my energy, everything is definitely dependent on the weather, okay? Um, I've been doing yoga at the house, which is was which is good. I ordered some new yoga stuff from um, Amazon. Matter of fact, let me show y'all because if you are a yoga girl, you need this, okay? You guys probably could hit a washing machine because I'm washing also. But I got some new yoga blocks and a yoga strap. I feel like a yoga girly, okay? And I got this. This is like my in-house um, yoga equipment because I have a yoga mat in the car that I don't take out the car because uh, she has germs on her and I don't want to bring her inside. So, 
I also got a new yoga mat. Y'all, when I tell y'all this yoga mat is sick, so I want to go and get a new yoga mat. I don't know if you guys can see. See how thick it is? When you are doing yoga, you need like the extra padding for like your wrists and knees. Girl, I am spoiled, okay? So I've been like <laughs> at the house a yoga girly. So I got a new mat, which I don't have a link for this mat because I got this from Marshalls and it was only $15, highly a $19.99, one of them. But I'm gonna link these blocks and strap. If you are kind of like new to yoga, I would still recommend these, but this is kind of like an advanced yoga for like different positions and stretches. But girl, yeah. We're gonna do some yoga actually today when I probably get back because I'm actually running out because I wanna go to uh, Trader Joe's right now. Should I go to Trader Joe's right now or should I go after I get my nails done? I don't know, give me a second. All right, y'all, but anyways, I'm gonna see you guys outside once we leave. Well, I'm about to leave. Um, I just have on a Nike dry fit, um, some uh, biker shorts, my hair's in a pony. I'm gonna throw on some sneakers, and today I'm wearing this girl. So, yep, let's go. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I felt, yeah. I wouldn't waste a minute if I had you all to We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up the sun. Y'all, I'm at Target looking for new workout clothes because I only have black workout clothes. And for some reason, y'all, I just want to like try something new. And I'm really feeling like this purple and peach. So I'm thinking about getting these sets. So this is going to be definitely out of my comfort zone, but we're definitely about to try. It's so hard for me not to come over here and get these, but yeah. Y'all, so this is the large. Now, the only thing about wearing colored workout clothes, it shows all of the cellulite, y'all. So I may have to just like work out with something around my legs or about around my waist. But I actually like this. It is really nice, but... You can't beat it for the price too, it's really nice. It's comfortable. I think I'm gonna get it. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come on me, fly you out to Queen. I need to speed this up because I really wanna get to the gym. It's one, I wanna be at the gym within like the next 15 minutes because I'm working out at the gym in my building today, so. Um, from Target, I got probiotics because I need to get back to using those. I got some mouthwash. I got these daily energies. I've been taking these for about a month now. Can you even see this? I don't know if it's. I got these. You know what's so funny? I don't even know if these things work. It's like a mental thing. Um, I got some melatonin because of what's life without melatonin. I got my favorite bubble bath. And I got some white for my face. And also, I picked up this Fabuloso. It's supposed to be new. It's antibacterial. So I'm gonna try this because, y'all, when it comes to mopping, I'm obsessed with mopping. I feel like, is your house really clean if you don't mop? So I mopped, I mopped yesterday. But I had company over and somebody wore shoes and I nearly died. So I'm gonna mop again today. And for the most part, you guys saw these pieces that I got from Tar Target, of course, from the workout section. Now, the only reason that I am, um, so I got the peach, hold on, and I got the purple, and I got this cool nude color because y'all know I have that windbreaker. I think it'll look good with this. And this is also one that I'll probably wear like to the airport. Um, but I got fun colors because all of my workout clothes, they're black and I'm finding it's spring, it's colorful, it's about to be summer. I kind of want to like switch up my workout gear and add like a little more color into it. And I think I'm also getting bored with my workout clothes because I've been wearing these since like December. And this is kind of like more of my, I would like to say like fall winter workout clothes so i kind of want to add new fun workout clothes into the mix which this is so out of my comfort zone because i am a black girl like i love black workout clothes so i'm about to freshen up my flowers and yeah girl i'll just see you guys probably later because when i finish working out i do want to do some at home yoga so I, oh i got a package from zara too hold on so i ordered this it's a jacket coat not really a coat and oh this took both pieces perfect so you guys know i ordered this dress 
girl i ordered this thing months ago FedEx actually warned the package and Zara had to refund me my money and I was so heartbroken because the large was like out of stock for the longest time. So it came back in stock a few days ago so I just ordered it in um, a large. So you've, you've already seen this but this is the showstopper hopefully. I got this, I'm gonna turn it off so we can try it on together. I'm sorry y'all, how much I paid for this? $129, I don't know if she's giving $129, but she's, okay. Do you see this detailing? Of course y'all can't get the full vibe, but it's this jacket. Um, To me, it's more of a duster cover up and I love the detailing on it. But if we've been honest, I don't know if she's worth $129. She's definitely giving more of like 60, 69. And it has this closure up here. So that's why I say it gives more of a cape. I would never, Wear it closed up, but I think she'll be cute. I gotta see if I'm keeping it because I'm sorry. For $129, mm, it's giving Big Bird. I actually just finished um, washing this set. Y'all know I picked this up from Target earlier. And I was like, hmm, I feel like I'm wearing some new workout clothes. So I told y'all I wanna try something new. Now, if you wear like lighter workout clothes, it does show like all of the set you like okay so i did um put my nike dry fit over it i'm actually gonna go uh run out to nike probably tomorrow to see if they have lighter ones i probably get a white one and maybe like i don't know see a lighter color just so i could have it wrapped around because this is a little more comfortable for me so i'm actually about to go downstairs to the gym and do my 40 minutes of cardio and yeah i would definitely link this set down below i would recommend i like it i like the color um the sports bra it's it's not super supportive but i feel like it's supportive enough like you can run in it this one i would say is kind of like good for just regular cardio but i would recommend and i also like the back on it so this is fun and i also want to get some probably lighter workout shoes so what, what was that but okay girl Three deep breaths, ten steps backwards, going backwards. Now I'm switching lanes, tire marks on my heart. It don't beat the same. Well, rest your weary heart, try your teary eyes. ignore the way I look let's just talk so I just finished my 40 minutes of cardio I did 40 minutes on an incline on a treadmill today and one tip that I would give anybody if you feel like you're in a rut or you're just not feeling your best mentally emotionally I would definitely say get active even if you can't go to the gym 
excuse me even if you can't go to the gym go for a walk i like to walk in the morning it's just something about it it's gonna kind of give you like a reset and it's just so therapeutic so it's so crazy how this morning i woke up just a little in a funk and as soon as i got off the treadmill right now i feel so so good i have a lot of energy so another thing that i usually do during wellness week and you guys know i usually don't vlog during wellness week but i'm vlogging this as much as I can because I'm going to upload this video tomorrow so I'm vlogging this week because I was like oh y'all I hate this lighting oh I'm vlogging because I was like if I'm in a funk I know somebody else is in a funk or a, a rut or maybe they're depressed and just not feeling their best so why would I hold all of my things that I do to kind of like pick myself up out of a rut why would I hold that so I'm trying to show y'all I'm going to show y'all as much as I can without sharing too much but for the most part I just try to get out of the house and I try to be active I definitely go for walks um I kind of limit when I'm watching like TV I would recommend finding you like a feel-good podcast or a feel-good show a feel-good show for me is like friends or the proud family so I kind of like have that on the TV even if I'm not watching it I just kind of like have it on and it just like it's a feel-good show it's like not a lot of drama it's not a lot of chaos or anything like that it's just like like a feel-good show but during wellness week I like to listen to a lot of podcasts or I watch podcasts on um on YouTube um another thing today I want to go to Barnes and Nobles because I have a nice self-care book collection but i've been having those books y'all for a long time so it's kind of like time to revamp my book collection so i would love to go to barnes and nobles today to do that and another thing i would recommend when you're not feeling your best try to switch up your routine like today is wednesday and i'm going to a spin class i usually don't go to spin because it's not really my vibe but i know it's going to make me uncomfortable and it's going to be something different like right now i need something to like kind of mix up my routine because i don't know about y'all i have the same routine i do the same thing every day and i'm just feeling like i'm on a hamster wheel like i know what i'm going to do every day and i don't like that i don't like the way that feels so it's time for me to start switching things up and kind of like pushing myself to change my routines and habits so today i'm going to spin class and tomorrow i'm gonna to go to pilates i'm not a pilates girl but my gym offers everything i'm paying a monthly fee and they have boxing they have spin pilates yoga they have all of these things i don't know if you guys care at music right now that's pilates class next door um so i'm gonna do pilates tomorrow but you guys won't see that because i'll be uploading this video but i'm just saying all of this to say do something different switch it up and don't try to fake it till you make it like when I'm in a funk I cannot fake it till I make it because I learned when I, you try to fake it till you make it you sit in that funk longer than you should I like to acknowledge my stuff and just keep it going like last week I told my therapist I didn't want to um go weekly anymore I've been seeing my therapist every week for two years now and <clears throat> I'm in a funk or a rut so I was like you know what this is the perfect time to use all of the tools that she has taught me to kind of like get myself out of this instead of depending on her to like help me through it it's like journey you have all you are so capable and you have all of the tools to get yourself back up so instead of kind of like leaning on therapy i'm taking all of my therapy tools and putting them to use now so i'm going to therapy every two weeks not every week so and would i ever go every month i don't know girl i i think every two weeks is enough for me because baby i be needing somebody to talk to okay like unbiased opinion i be need somebody to talk to so and also don't be afraid to seek therapy if you're not feeling good you know do what works for you i hope some of these tips during my wellness week help you um yoga y'all this morning that yoga session that i had when i was in yoga i was so doing it i was so proud of myself because i started yoga because i was in a rut years ago maybe 2020 I forgot when I started yoga, started yoga. I started yoga on my YouTube channel. I started doing yoga because I was in a rut. And the way yoga has changed my life, like, oh my God, you become one with your mind and body. If you're in a rut, look for a yoga class near you. I would recommend flow or restorative yoga. Those are two very soothing yogas that I feel like is good for mental health and stuff like that. But girl, when I first started doing yoga, I could not even touch my knees. They used to say do a 
downward fold and touch your toes, I could never touch my toes. Now I can, but somebody's coming in. Love yours. Love yours. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass, let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness and the success Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Does all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind? Cause pain still lingers on mine on the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way Think being broke was better So it is the next day And I need to end out this vlog I did not come back to catch up with you guys yesterday Because I think I hit my max on vlogging yesterday So I was like, the rest of the day is for me So I didn't vlog the rest of the day Um, I went to Barnes and Nobles. Y'all, Barnes and Nobles was so nostalgic because Barnes and Nobles was like my place before Starbucks. So years ago when I first got like into um, reading and stuff, like really got into my personal development journey, that's when I used to always go to Barnes and Nobles. Before I used to go sit at Starbucks, I would literally go to Barnes and Nobles and they have this huge couch. And I would just sit on that couch and just read, dive into books. So. That was another thing that I wanted to do this week. Instead of just ordering my books off of Amazon, which I usually do, I wanted to go in and kind of like flip through the pages, read a little, and I really enjoyed that. So I did not buy any books. I'm gonna go back today because I have more time today. Yesterday it started raining and I just wanted to get home, but that was so nostalgic. And I was like, it brought back so many memories sitting on that couch. I was like, girl, it was like 2016. I used to always go to Barnes and Nobles and read um, books. So. I would definitely recommend y'all, if you are in a rut or you're not feeling your best, like I said, it's okay, but try something different. Yesterday, I told y'all, I'm not a cycle girl, but when I went to cycle class, it was amazing. As soon as she turned off the lights and she started playing the music, when I tell y'all, I didn't think about my rut, I didn't think about my feelings, I didn't think about what I needed to do, I was in that moment, and in that moment, I felt so much joy and happiness, and I was like, this is what I want to feel. That's why I'm at a place where I just want to um, add new things into my routine, switch up things in my life, because I feel like I'm in such a weird space in life and my everything is just changing and I, a lot of things has changed and i feel like it's spiritual so i have control but i really don't have control at all but the things i do have control to change i want to change those things so i would definitely recommend getting out and changing those things so today i'm going to it's a morning right now it's 6 42 i'm about to go for a walk because it's beautiful outside so i'm going to go for a morning walk i'm going to treat myself to starbucks i haven't had starbucks in forever y'all know i don't drink coffee anymore and i have a taste for coffee so this morning i'm going to stop to get a starbucks coffee i'm going to go for a walk and then i'm going to go to a pilates class i'm not a pilates girl but that's something else different that's going to kind of like push me to kind of like get out of my routine like yesterday like I said going to cycle it was amazing so today I'm gonna try um Pilates if we've been honest my gym offer classes every day like at least five classes a day so I'm gonna pick a class every single day this week and I'm gonna go to one and as soon as I walked into the gym yesterday y'all the guy was like you're gonna be excited for this and I was like why well, he's like we have a new um class schedule and we add um added a midday yoga class and i was like what like count me in of course and yesterday the instructor that i had for spain y'all she was so amazing she was so helpful she was one thing about me i feel like when i'm taking classes i like for the instructor 
instructor to kind of like help me tell me different things she would tell me like okay this is position one two and three and it made my ride go so well so yesterday i did double cardio and i just felt amazing but i'm about to end out this vlog guys hopefully you guys take something from this vlog maybe one I don't think I'll ever get to that point. Maybe. Just a little. I got a uh, vlog a little here and there. I'll do like a full wellness week. But this has literally been just a few days that I kind of like let you guys in. So hopefully you guys feel good. I'm sending you guys well wishes and all of those things. I know we did a lot of talking in this vlog. But that's life, okay? That's I had to talk this time, okay? Because it's not always roses and unicorns. Okay, girl? If you're not feeling your best, do something that makes you feel good today. And yeah, I'm sending you guys love and light. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you girls in the next one. I'm actually editing the video that you guys are watching right now. Because y'all, this video, it is 644. This video needs to be up at 10 a.m. Am I going to make it on time? I bet. Okay. <laughs>